Start recording. Okay, we're good. This is Representative Waldrop. Today I saw him from the gallery when I was looking at, a, when I was watching the, the discussions. Every time he had to come in to vote, he came in to vote like this. That is true. It was amazing. And now we're excited to talk to him in person. Uh, you represent Eden, the Eden area of Utah. Yeah, Ogden Valley, a little okay. bit of Ogden, okay. and Harrisville. Okay, now Eden is one of the prettiest places on earth. It really is. As you know, the garden viewers. Is. Tell us how you, in your job as legislator, are a bridge builder to talk about issues that maybe not everybody agrees with uh, and, and reach across the aisle to do good work with, with people who maybe see things differently than you. Um, well, it's, it's always a challenge because uh, even within my own party, there are issues that, that uh, are divisive. Mm -hmm. Um, and so you don't have to go across aisles even to build bridges. I think you do it with, with individuals is, yeah. is kind of the thing I try to accomplish. Um, I'm working right now with uh, Representative Stoddard, who is a Democrat, um, yeah. on uh, some issues relating to marijuana <laughs> and DUI, which okay. is really a challenging subject, and he's been fantastic to work with on it um, because he's a prosecutor and he has knowledge in that that I just I'll never have. Yeah. Um, so he and I have been working on that together for a couple of months, uh, a lot of meetings, a lot of uh, discussion with a lot of interested parties, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I think we're close to a resolution for now, and then we're going to work together uh, over the interim on looking at the entire DUI code. Oh, wow. Which is really messed up. Yeah. <laughs> right is now. it? It is. It's, uh, you know, they're... I don't they're, know. So he and I are working on that together. Um, I've worked with other... Uh, co-sponsor a lot of bills with uh, Democrats and Republicans that yeah. are more conservative than me, that are more liberal than me, mm -hmm. that, uh, and I think it really just comes down to uh, we have to make an effort to uh, get out of our tribe and to get out of our uh, echo chambers that, mm -hmm. that are very comfortable. I mean, oh, it's yeah. super comfortable to be in an echo chamber because then you're always right. And <laughs> And no one can question you. Um, fortunately for me, I have a, a wife who challenges my echo chamber all the time. Okay. And, uh, and that's been a great benefit to me because I, I don't fear um, looking at things in a different way Good. and talking to people with different perspectives. And, and it's taught me a lot um, about how to approach um, issues pragmatically mm -hmm. rather than from a predetermined place. Right, right, right. Um, so that, that's one of the things I just try to make a part of my DNA, and it doesn't always work. Well, I like it. Not perfect. Um, I sometimes revert back, as we all do, to our upbringing or yeah. our, you know, our base platforms, but, um, but allowing myself to be challenged, I think, is one of the most rewarding parts of this job, because mm. it, I, I am not that smart. <laughs> I'm not smart well, enough to know you're fairly articulate, I don't know. so that's exciting. We're working on that. So, and also, you're not short. I'm not short. Yeah. I'm tall. You're 6'8". Okay. You're 6'8". And I've, I've heard people ask you that, and I thought that maybe we should yeah. put that on the video. I so did play basketball that. once. You did play basketball. <laughs> okay. Yeah, It'd be I, weird if you didn't. All right. Well, thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you we very, very it. much. Good luck, it. and we look forward to working with okay. you.